The Ernest Hemingway of the cinema. I just want to know what he represents. What he creates, he has to wreck. It's a compulsion. Want me to bring you another spot? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have our own movie. Well, here it is. If anybody wants to see it. We're the Sisters Brothers. We're looking for a man named Warm. He stole something from our employer. We need to get out. We have enough money to stop for good. Stop what? Ah! Killing people. <laughs> yeah, right. We got involved into co-producing Sisters Brothers by through the festival that I organized in Bucharest. I started this festival some nine years ago with the desire of just uh, bringing a little bit more difficult films to the Romanian audience and it became quite popular and the idea was to also bring a lot of authors that people do not meet very often and to give them the opportunity of talking to them and to put the films in a different perspective. And this is how Jaco Diar came to Romania, I think, like three years ago, two years ago. As you know, he's um, a director who doesn't really travel too much. He prefers to focus on working. So he asked us if um, he could come also for the deep on film he was introducing, but also with a professional purpose. So what we did, we organized the scouting for him in Romania because we knew that he wanted to make an American Western and he considered not to shoot in the States. Uh, I'm the director of the film uh, called You Have the Night. Uh, I come from Montenegro. Uh, this film is co-production between Montenegro, Serbia and uh, Qatar. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm competing with this film in uh, uh, Critics Week uh, in, here in Venice. So after I finished uh, my um, short film, which was here in Venice in 2015 in Horizonte Selection, I started to prepare for my first feature film uh, because it was about the time I already finished a bunch of short films. So the, I wanted actually to do a film uh, uh, about the place I, I grew up and the people I, I, I really know. Uh, so I decided uh, not only to have uh, one character, but to have uh, like so society is uh, uh, like a main, main character in, in, in this film. And it's also a film about uh, this town in, in which I grew up and uh, the working class, which is uh, dissolving, disappearing in a way. And uh, so that, that's basically that. Well, the subject of the film is like uh, about a um, prodigy, a uh, pianist prodigy, who is uh, intern in a psychiatric hospital in Argentina. And the way he will go out of the hospital, also going through, mu through his own composition and um, through music. Um, I was like going very often to Argentina and uh, uh, once I went to that hospital which is very strange and special because it's one of the biggest in South America, they, they do anti-psychiatry, uh, they make a lot of uh, experiments uh, in the good sense and, uh, and it's a city inside the city. So um, I went there by, by curiosity and I get fascinated 
and I decided, oh, okay, I want to make a film here. I don't, I didn't know the topic yet, or, uh, and then I started to look for uh, for the protagonist until uh, I met him. And when I met him, it was obvious that it would be this pianist. His relation with music was well, at something special. We got very close, and that's it. And I'm here with him for the last four years. So I'm part of Venice Gap Financing Forum, which is a co-production market uh, organized by Venice Film Festival. And we are here with the project The Prague Orgy, uh, which is directed and written by Elena Pavlaskova. And based on the book by famous US writer Philip Roth. So that's our main goal here, to present the project to international decision makers and try to get good distribution deals because we are soon going to the production already. So the Prague Movie Company was established by Viktor Schwarz and Irena Pavlaskova because they already collaborated on Irena's two previous films and the Prague Orgy is their third collaboration and for that purpose they said okay, we want to make for this special film by very famous US author, make a new company where they are sharing it. I stepped in later because I'm trying, uh, I'm helping them in the project to raise international funds and international awareness of the film, international distribution and so uh, they hopefully will continue working together also within the company, Prague Company, after we successfully finish the Prague Company. So this is like open for future but uh, kind of certifies their long-term collaboration which was successful.